Hello everyone, I'm very excited to show you here what's new in Ovation 11 and for those who don't know Ovation to explain a little bit what we're talking about. So first of all, Ovation is a playout system and a show synchronizer for theme parks, for museums, for operas, for theaters, with operators or without operators, you can program it, it the way you want. And it has also a mixer implemented in which you can dispatch many sources, many zones in immersive, in multi-channel, in ambisonic, all kinds of different workflows that can be enabled. So what we worked on Ovation 11, we worked a lot on the mixer, on the plugins, on the user interface you see right now in front of you. So this is a project, for example, with multi-zones, with different queue lists, with uh, standard queue lists, but also time queue lists that are linked to a different time code. So here I'm the time of the date, uh, the moment I'm recording it, hotkey queue lists, and here different kind of pads that you can launch that will launch other things with our interaction rules. But you see that everything has been rounded. You have better understanding, better reading of the characters because we have gone to 4K graphics and so on. First of all, what I want to show you in the functionality of it is that, for example, I can launch these different queues. And if I go now to the zone two, for example, because that's where I'm in. So now if I play something, I will see that this is a queue that doesn't contain any audio, but that triggers all those cues to play at the same time. And if I click on another one, for example, that is just above there, is that I can then launch this one that will stop the other one with a fade and launch these different cues as a multi-track playing together. That means that I have what we call interaction rule to be able to trigger that. That means that while I'm clicking on that clip, that it will launch this, 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 this. But with an exception, for example, not doing that or with starting, with stopping, with a fade and so on. All kinds of different things. Those cues, as you can see here, I have a little editor on the right side. Those cues can be, of course, trimmed in terms of audio, can be faded, but you can also add little flags. For example, I add a flag here, or a marker rather, and I'm going to move it a bit further. And now I double click on the flag and I can open the interaction of this flag or this marker and I can say fire, stop, pause, dim the audio, for example, when reaching this marker, previous cues or all the cues that are in the same channels when starting with a little fade in, with a little fade out, and with a dim value of whatever, and then I say add rule, and this is what is going to happen when it's going to reach that. What is interesting, you can see, you can program all kinds of ways that it works together. For example, I have here time queue list. This time queue list means that I have a main time code that is an incoming time code, for example, from a generator. I can generate time code as well. Or in that case, it's the time of the day. So here it's 7.53 at the moment. Now, I have here a time queue list that can be triggered from another time code or from another time of the day. Or, for example, here that I start start timed. This is now a queue that triggers the queue list, the time queue list, to start. And now you will see it starts, and below you have a go kind of counter. So when it reaches five seconds, this guy is going to start. The next one at eight, the following one at 10 seconds, then at 15 seconds, then at 18 seconds and 25 seconds. So this is again a programming that means that can be used where you have specific musical things or events that need to be synchronized in time. So you can really design it the way you want. Now, going a bit further, that all of this goes obviously through the mixer. And the mixer, I bring it over here, is now linked to my Ovation. And what is very nice, as you can see, it has completely been redesigned. So you have very neat overview of the plugins that you can move the way around, that you can copy, that you can paste very easily and so on. But we have here multiple sources or multiple zones that have different outputs that you can program to outputs via ASIO, via Mascor, via Ravenna, via Dante, whatever your infrastructure requires or whatever sound card you have. But then this audio, because it's a real-time mixer, gets mixed and you can even put cues together with an automation. So now I see my faders moving, I see my EQs moving eventually. And that's a program I made before with a snapshot, I go back to the basics, suddenly go back to a snapshot, and I can have as many as I want independently of the audio that is just played at this moment in time. Even further, I can move also to different panners. That means if I bring my panner over, my immersive panner, that can be 
all kinds of formats, domes that I can generate, that I can move around. But here I made a 71.4, if I remember well, and I can move my different 5.1 signal in my 71.4 environment, move them up, move them down, depending on what I programmed with a snapshot. And this snapshot, I can put a glide to them so that they can then reach every point in two seconds, four seconds, eight seconds, whatever it is required. And obviously the snapshot, before I showed a full snapshot of the mixer, they are just the the panner obviously have a filtering on which goes where into when it needs to be programmed or when it needs to be stored. Then each queue is connected to every type or all different types of protocols because I can trigger other things via MIDI opening microphones, via timecode, via MIDI command, via Sony P2, RS422, old serial commands, COM commands, but also IP with OSC, for example. I can record OSC. I can make OSC automation. In this in every single queue, I can do that. And then I can be remote control also from other devices in most of these different formats. Now, what is very nice, and this is pretty unique, when you're getting to the finalization of a show, of an event, of a setup, of an installation. Behind Ovation, you have a Pyramix. That means that, for example, this queue here, I can say in one click, edit in Pyramix. Each time you install Ovation, you have Pyramix installed, and there the queue it is. So it is very fast, very slick. I have my in and my out point, which have become my markers here. This is my marker with the interaction rule, you remember, and now I can properly edit because I have one of the best editors that you can find, either in multi-track or either because I want to add some audio below or I just do some silly things here and I can of course do that. Then I can start to draw some curves or some envelopes, for example, and I can, for example, make this different curve over here and once I'm ready, I'm happy with all of this, I say project, ovation, I can say publish to Ovation, overriding the existing queue, or publish to Ovation as a new queue. And so I don't need to override the existing queue. And there it is. And you see in multi-track. And there I don't need to render anything. It is nearly instant. Another very cool feature I have is the web browser remote control. That means that everything is tabbed here. I can it also on a long line. I can filter out items if I don't want to give them to the remote control. But here I have everything. I can start and control the show and I can launch, as I can do it in the user interface of my Ovation, directly from here to pause them, to stop them, to stop the show, to go back, to go forwards, and to go to all the different items within the zone, for example, and to launch my automations that have been done before. But of course, as I said, you can filter them out if required. And last but not least, you can also duplicate for redundancy the exact same show on another computer, meaning with the same content, with the same media, it will play then machine A and machine B, A being the master, as soon for whatever reason it fails, the machine B will just continue the show with the same functionalities as you had in machine A. Ovation 11 has many great new features and a completely new revamped user interface as you can see. Enjoy it!